Hello YouTube, Mike for here, here, and this is a Minecraft video and a talkie. Uh, walking through to uh, Theonville. Uh, yeah, this is part of the world on Andy's server, where uh, Elise, myself, Andy, uh, UK Retro Games, Polar Ventures, Electric Adventures, even Steve Benway for a bit, 8-Bit Micro, UK Retro Games, a lot of uh, folk, uh, Custardo, Mr. Uh, Mr. Custard, Aaron, uh, a lot of uh, folk have been uh, building and creating stuff. Um, yeah, Andy has been so grace, graceful, uh, gracious, <laughs> graceful, gracious uh, to, uh, to host and run the server. Um, the hardware has been updated uh, a couple of times, I believe. And uh, uh, yeah, the software, of course, also. So this, uh, this world has seen quite a bit of changes. Um, yeah, I, I use this world as a sort of escape uh, refuge uh, from, uh, <laughs> from uh, yeah, being uh, on, on call a lot, of the, a lot of the time. So I, um, I just uh, hang out in this world and whenever I'm called into action, I can just drop whatever I'm doing and uh, yeah, be, uh, be on my way. And uh, it doesn't require a lot of thinking, you know, just walking around in creative world and perhaps even doing some survivaling. Um, yeah, I really miss the days that we, uh, we used to hang out uh, together and just chat. The server may actually have been online for about two years now, so this world is, is two years old and it's grown enormously, uh, immensely. It has been uh, a great ride, and I hope the ride will continue. And perhaps we'll, uh, there will be times where uh, us, uh, us folk will meet up on Minecraft a, a bit more, uh, you know. Uh, and if and if and if not, well, you know, it's it's nice to make a couple of videos to uh, to show you uh, bits of the world. Actually, Mr. Custard, uh, Erwin, uh, and I. Uh, and the wife and uh, we met up with uh, quite a few of the miners at, uh, at replay and uh, we actually encountered uh, some great buildings that Mr. Custer actually has been uh, has been recreating and uh, they're in Minecraft and they're on the server and I guess he'll be making a video of his own and uh, yeah, I've I've been creating some uh, some crazy stuff as well. I've been creating some huge trees that actually I I will create a video uh, of and upload it. You know, kind of with a yeah stylized with music again and stuff. Um. So so yeah, uh, what you see here is actually me walking alongside a huge uh, walkway. Uh, stretching from a place called Amityville to uh, Theonville. And Theonville is actually loosely based upon uh, the name of a town in France close to Luxembourg. Uh, or is the a town in Luxembourg close to France? I'm not sure. <laughs> but we uh, pass that uh, quite a bit if we travel and when we travel around. Um, I like the name, so I put it in there. And I like making infrastructure and I like discovering uh, new pieces of land and new towns and just hook them up, connect them. And uh, yeah, what you see me doing here is flying and actually flying is something that kind of took the char uh, charm of Minecraft away for me. Uh, I tend to do it as little as possible uh, because it makes the world smaller. And I much rather have portals, uh, you know, for instant, instant transport and stuff, than just fly around all the time. I mean, flying is great if you if you are making a building. I mean, you don't have to bother with the scaffolding. That uh, <laughs> man, we used to use a lot of scaffolding, and uh, mm. uh, yeah, you don't anymore if you go into creative mode. But uh, uh, yeah, so so the creative mode. It, 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 it made possible quite a few amazing things that you will be seeing in future videos and you will have seen in past videos. 
Um, but uh, yeah, at the same time, it takes away from the game, I guess, or it takes away from the experience. And uh, I tend to uh, to go um, without the flying and uh, just build and explore and uh, sometimes a bit of surviving. So um, yeah. <laughs> The, the, this world is so large that, you know, from walking from one place to another, and my phone is actually ringing, uh, walking from one place to another actually uh, takes about 15 minutes, <laughs> which is weird, you know, walking around in a virtual place. Um, yeah, this Fraps, um, this, this recording with Fraps seems to be going rather well. It's holding up at about 30 frames per second, I guess. So, um, yeah, it's not running at the highest resolution, but yeah, it's doing okay. And um, yeah, what else? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm currently enjoying uh, two weeks of freedom, uh, a vacation, not completely because uh, tomorrow I'm actually on call 24 hours, in the, smack in the middle of my holiday, so. Uh, yeah, I, you know, it's just one of these things. <laughs> I should have taken a different profession, I guess. Or, um, what I will be doing is actually uh, waiting. Uh, I, I will be enjoying my free time playing some video games and I'll be waiting for two special handhelds, two special consoles to arrive that I'm really looking forward to. And of course, I'll be doing some reviews. And I actually also caved. I bought myself a Wii U. Uh, I wasn't going to, but um, <laughs> they were uh, they were selling it for for uh, 25 euros less, or even more, I believe, uh, than um, than was advertised. So they had a very big discount, actually. Uh, it was going. Uh, the, I bought the premium package, uh, the black Wii, uh, Wii U, and uh, it was um, it came with uh, the, the Nintendo Land game, and uh, yeah, that's that's that basically made the deal for me, and I just don't understand why Nintendo chose not to include that in the Japanese version of the, uh, of the package. Uh, so the Japanese really got. Uh, a bad deal here. Um, the Wii U, yeah, I, I, I'm going to do a separate video on that um, because I've, I've actually been very impressed with uh, with the system. I've not been impressed with the prices of the games. Uh, I'm not going to download any games, uh, not the full, you know, retail games. I'm, I'm just not going to do that because they're tied to the machine actually, so they're not tied to your account. So if you log into another machine with your account, you, you are not able to download the games again, which is a shame because, you know, this really makes DRM, uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't provide a user-friendly experience after the console is, you know, perhaps buggered or dead or, dead or whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I like the, the design and I like the build quality of the, of the console. And, uh, oh yeah, here's the Rio Grande in Thionville. Um, yeah, but more on that in another video. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, looking for packages. Uh, yeah, the Nexus. I, my Nexus. I mean, I I upgraded the, uh, the OS to four point two point something, and that means that uh, and it's still sort of rooted. But uh, I hope I'll be able to reach the village uh, before nightfall. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, um, but uh, the Bluetooth uh, Wii Mote uh, controller doesn't work anymore. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been having some issues with a USB controller as well. So I've removed actually all emulators from my Nexus 7. And uh, I'm just having touch only games on there. And uh, I'll be 
saving up those emulators for another system that soon will be coming my way. Um, yeah, let's cross this bridge. <laughs> I think I'm, yeah, being dyslectic. I, I think I, I think actually, I mean, I'm quite quite proud of my road size, but for some reason, I don't think I've been writing the name consistently. Perhaps, yeah, we have done that, but it's not really, it's really getting dark. Uh, perhaps I'll just go into this tower and, uh, and just watch from, watch the sunset close the door, just move up the ladder. And just, you know, yeah, just watch the sunset. I've not skinned uh, my my client, my world. I'm just using the vanilla textures. Uh, haven't haven't changed them around, but uh, perhaps might do so in the future. Uh, well, just enjoy the sunset. Mark signing off, and I'll be back with another video.